Well, let me bring this point. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a clip from a movie that's now hitting on 20 years since its release. That's uh, Dead Presidents, right? There's a scene here. I'm going to show you guys and the people out there. Anthony, if you remember the main character, Anthony, he's a world uh, Vietnam vet, right? And he's coming back in town. And well, he's already in town and he's got a job and he got let go from the job. And his old lady had that paper had yeah, had a significant other that was taking care of business while Anthony was out in the war. Now there's a confrontation here. We're looking at this scene right now, and um, that led me to a question in my mind: like, what if that side guy, right? Mm -hmm. Your man is probably he probably in the army or anything like that but he he was locked up he wasn't in the picture now he's back and he just won't leave. i mean he'll leave eventually but his presence has been there for you know a certain amount of your life wait a minute i'll start with y'all like what being approached what is the mind frame while all this is going because you started and you have a family i'm gonna mm -hmm. put that out there even though you don't have a child mm -hmm. You've already established something. Let's make that be the point. You've already established something with this man, but this other man who did what he had to do. We don't know what your emotions are exactly with him. Mm -hmm. What is the mind state? So your question is that my man went to prison. Prison or he was in the army, either or. Okay, well, e either way. He went to prison or the army. Uh -huh. The government broke us up. Okay. I, I, I listen. I, both are a choice. Mm -hmm. You make a choice to go to the army. You make a choice to go in prison. I mean, you know, if we in, if we if we decide that that's what we're gonna do for our family, he right. goes to the army. Then of course, you know, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I I personally don't deal with people that do long distance relationships and you know stuff well like i that. like long distance relationships that's oh. you know that's another show <laughs> oh okay but we'll i mean of that things one. that will put us in a situation to be apart for mm -hmm. you know you 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 out there you doing this and you doing that and right. you done caught about 25 years mm -hmm. i mean i can't I don't, I don't know what to do with all that time lady g a woman has needs <laughs> yeah we got she sex shops so real. <laughs> <laughs> she said the answer is resources. Why does she have the, the dude as resources? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Going back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Women, they always say, oh, the, the men used to fight each other for women. No. Men used to go and collect resources. Mm -hmm. And whoever collected the most resources, got or who was smart enough right. mm -hmm. to collect the most resources, got the women. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And it's a saying. Women don't love men. They love what they can do for them. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it all comes down to resources. It really does. Agree or disagree? Don't y'all see what's going on in the world? Don't you see how many broke niggas it is? We'll get here? back to her. With, with, <laughs> with, with the best relationships going on? Hey, yeah, what I you think, mean I women think, love yeah. resources? Here's the thing, man. We didn't I, even I did, know about resources. Like, like,